So, what's part TiVo, part Slingbox, and all Uber Geek cool? We've got the Monsoon Have a Platinum HD on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, Gateway, and Click Free. And welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Ballas, of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, before we get onto the tech, I want to again ask everyone out there to please go to our YouTube page at www.youtube.com forward slash Gadget TTS. That's Gadget the Tech Stop, and subscribe. After you've subscribed, you can drop by the techstop.net, click on the contest tab, and you'll be able to find out how you can enter to win a brand spanking new, click-free, HD801, 160 gigabyte automatic backup. As long as you're watching, you might as well be winning. Now let's get on to the tech. This week we're taking a look at the Monsoon Hava Platinum HD. Now this is a time-shifting, place-shifting piece of technology that allows you to take signal from your cable box, from your satellite box, from your DVR, from wherever, and put it onto your network. Now this has been a technology that's been around since Sling Media introduced their Sling Box, but this doesn't just ride on the coattails of the Sling Box. In fact, Monsoon has done a very good job of adding their own tweaks and their own twists and their own client-side technology that really makes the Monsoon shine. We've had a couple of months to play with this. We've really seen the hardware and the software develop. And well, this is what we found. The Hava Platinum HD is a place-shifting, time-shifting video streaming device from Monsoon Multimedia. It connects to your Ethernet network and allows you to stream just about any video source to a Windows laptop or desktop, as well as a multitude of mobile devices and compatible media players. Out of the box, the Hava Platinum comes with everything you need to be up and streaming in just a few minutes. The Hava comes with all the software, adapters, and cords required to hook up your Xbox, PS3, DVD, satellite box, cable box, DVR, or other AV device. Monsoon includes two component cables, two standard AV cables, a power adapter, an Ethernet cable, and an IR blaster for controlling your infrared devices. The back of the Hava is lined with the various inputs and output ports. Aside from the 9-volt power port, the IR port, and the Ethernet port, you get a standard AV input, a component input, a S-video input, and their corresponding pass-through ports, so that you can install the Hava in line between your entertainment devices and the monitor allowing you to stream without disrupting your setup. The Hava Platinum supports input signals from standard 480i to 1080i and will stream that video at 720x480 at 6 megabits per second. If you input HD signals, the Hava will display in 16x9 widescreen format and the Hava client is integrated into Windows Media Center. Installing the Hava is simple. Connect the power, IR, and Ethernet cables then make all the connections between your Hava and your entertainment center. The port strip does make for a less cluttered set of cables, but we felt that this was also the main drawback of the Hava. Unfortunately, using mini plug to RCA adapters makes the connections very unstable. We found that even a little nudge could disrupt our component signal or add noise into what had been a beautiful picture. Once the software is installed, the Hava client will automatically find and update your Hava Platinum. Then it will ask you to specify the type of device you have so that it can configure the remote control. Monsoon has included an impressive list of manufacturers and devices, meaning that you will most likely not have to use the integrated learning feature to control your media device. The setup will ask you to choose a password for your device, then it will configure the Hava for remote access. This is crucial if you intend to view your video streams from outside your network say on your cell phone or tablet PC. Once the client is launched, you will immediately see the Hava stream. You also have the ability to play with the client's settings, controlling everything from color and brightness to video input to recording options, time shift configuration, audio quality, and the like. In addition to the automatic time shift controls, which will let you play back anything that has been streamed to the Hava client within the user configurable buffer time, you can also record the incoming video streams onto your computer in an MPEG-2 format, 
which has excellent quality, but also a pretty hefty size. A test clip of 4 minutes and 45 seconds used up approximately 292 megabytes of space. We were able to reduce it further, but you should know that capturing programming with the Hava is going to require a hefty hard drive. Video quality is good, but not always great, mostly owing to the aforementioned sensitive cables at the back of the Hava. However, there are two standout features of the stream. First, up to three clients can watch a stream simultaneously. This is a big advantage to anyone who wants to stream the same video and audio to multiple locations. Secondly, there is no lag time in the pass-through ports. That means that the Hava could be used to record even time-sensitive video games, like machinima takes or rhythm games. In all, the Hava Platinum HD is an incredibly versatile piece of video gear that can be used by couch potatoes, video enthusiasts, and content producers alike. It's clear that Monsoon didn't want to constrain their product to a single category, so they built as much functionality into the Hava as possible. Though it has a few rough edges, in the right hands, the Hava Platinum HD is pure gold. The Hava Platinum HD from Monsoon Multimedia is available now. Prices range from $90 to $110. To do a proper pros and cons of the Monsoon Multimedia Hava Platinum HD, I think we have to compare it against its competitors from Sling Media. Now, Sling Media makes several different Sling boxes, all the way from the Pro HD down to the lower end tuner models, but the only ones that really compare against the Platinum HD would be the Solo. And even in that case, you'd be running 120 to 150 versus 90 to 110 for the Platinum HD. So advantage, Monsoon. If we looked at image quality, so how does each set of clients handle different bandwidth situations? And, and how does it handle errors? How does it look? I think we have to give that to Sling Media. The Slingbox clients are just a bit more polished. They're, uh, they're a bit more advanced. They do a better job of dealing with things like Wi-Fi and degraded connections. If we were to look at ease of use, so how easily does it install? How easy is it configured? How easy to use? for even the techno unsavvy. Again, I think we have to give that to Sling Media. I, I think they've put more development time into making sure that it's easy to set up and easy to get things like your mobile client running. Now, that's not to say that Monsoon will always be behind. That They've done a fantastic job, especially in the last few months, of updating their firmware and their client software. And I'm sure that in the future, the, the Hava will be at the same level as the Slingbox. Now, the big one the feature set. I think if we look at the feature set, hands down, that has to go to Monsoon. You see, even on the high-end sling boxes, the HD Pro, you can only have one person at a time watching. Now, even though the HD Pro image quality is far better than the Monsoon have a Platinum HD, that one person limit is a big, big but. You see, with the three people limit on the Monsoon Platinum HD, it means that I could have my desktop running at the same time that someone else is watching with a laptop. It means that we could have the desktop and the laptop and a mobile client. It means that we could have three completely separate stations streaming the same content at the same time. Now, I understand why Sling Media couldn't do it, because they were worried about getting sued into the ground, but I'm glad that Monsoon Multimedia did. Because with those three clients, I just have so many more options that I can do with their gear. Now, it's not just that. I mean, the little things, like the ability to have HD inputs, component inputs in the back here, which means I can take the HD input from my Xbox and, and uh, stream it through my, my, uh, my Hava. Even though it downconverts it to 480i widescreen, it's still a very useful function. The fact that the software builds in so much support for so many different remote controls, and the big one for me, the fact that I can record the streams directly into the Monsoon client. I mean, that's something that could be used by machinima makers, by people who want to record their gaming sessions, or just people who want to put content into their computers. Now, at this price, at this level of technology, really, Monsoon is the way to go. And that hurts because I have a lot of friends at Sling Media, and I have always had a Sling box, but I see a good piece of tech when I see it. Now, if you want to find out more about the Monsoon Hava Platinum HD, you can go to their website at www.myhava.com, or you can visit our site at www.thetextop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email, email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetextop.net. I've been your host, Father Robert Ballasare. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology, and remember, 
There's no Uber Geek without you. Um, the episode's over, so y you could shut this window now. Go. Go home. Go ahead, go home. <laughs>